went on his uh, frank speech platform and he made another statement about True News. Yes, this, this is the one where he, he actually says he does know who True News uh, is, the organization. He says it's a fake news outlet. Oh. We might be able to tie him back here to Antifa. We're, we're Allegedly, we're looking into that. All these media guys that were there, that were letting people in with their media badges and using masks to disguise themselves, like Zach started wearing a mask, I think, on the second day. These guys, we're going we're gonna to bring it. It's all going to come out. This true news, which is a fake news outlet, uh, we have we have Zach on video with all these people. My, we have an intelligence counterintelligence team that was there. We're going to investigate all of them. I have a report from from our counterintelligence and the people that were there. Um, they've given me this report, and this will be ready by tonight. Um, Antifa, um, they on our counterintelligence, Antifa. Uh, they were the individuals were, were working with True News, which is a fake news site established by Media Matters for America. Uh, we believe Zachary Patrizo and um, Salon was involved. We've got them all on tape colluding with masks on. There were people there that said they were from Fox News, but those we believe those were also infiltrators because Fox News was not there. But when you use masks, Brandon, to get into things, I mean, pe bad people, just like you go back to the riots across America. They're using masks now to do, to do bad things. As a, as hey, I got to say this, Edward. I am the first person to be accused of being both a white nationalist and an Antifa domestic terrorist. <laughs> oh, boy. I pulled it off. How about that? You did it, Rick. You a should get a award. white nationalist, left-wing Antifa domestic terrorist. That, that is so bonkers what I just heard. It really is sad. Um, Mr. Lindell, I, I don't know one person at Media Matters, and if they're funding us, their checks are late. <laughs> they're about 22 <laughs> years late because I've had to get on my knees and pray every day and, and uh, for the funds to come in from donations from people around the world. And um, Antifa, uh, no, we didn't smuggle any Antifa people in. I, that just... That just didn't happen. I don't know one single Antifa member. So, Rick, where's all this coming from? I Somebody's mean, feeding <clears throat> uh, Mr. Lindell a lot of bad information, and I think he should wise up and uh, take a look at who he's surrounded himself with yes. and whether somebody has gotten inside his group and they are now um, turning him into a clown. Yeah, you know destroying what, his own credibility. Yes, they're destroying you know his does, credibility. Though? Okay, so he has this big, you know, show to show truth, right? Mm -hmm. Just that statement alone about disparaging us yes. just ne neglects all that stuff that he might have been true because that is blatant lies what he's saying. I mean, it's just, that well, discredits said, him. But he said that he's got a uh, counterintelligence team that is giving him this report. Is that Mossad? Uh, through through uh, Dirty Dershowitz? Mm. Somebody is feeding him information. So if he's so wrong on us, right, on that re intel report, what about the other stuff he's trying well, to feed the American people about right, so the election? That, so that's what it's doing to me. I'm, I'm, yeah. Now I'm in the story. Right, suddenly, how, I, how in the world did I get in the mm. Mike Lindell story? You didn't even go. <laughs> I, I, yeah, you, it's, uh, so you were working all last week. And, and so, so <laughs> if, 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 he, if his sources of information are so faulty, that he accuses True News of being a Media Matters puppet. Funded by Media funded Matters. Funded by Media Matters. And Smuggling. then we smuggle Antifa terrorists into meetings. If his information is that faulty, then I can't trust anything Mike Lindell says. Right. And I've been, I've been one guy here through this whole thing that has said, let's hear him out. Let's not attack him. Let's, let's give the man a fair chance to present his information. That's I'm why we sent December. our team out. Yes, that's why we sent Edward and Lard. But now, I wouldn't waste a dime on anything Mike Lindell says. And this